So, uh, what's your name? What, do you, what brings you here? My name is Kyle Kemper. Uh, I am brought here for a lot of reasons, okay. but one of them is we're launching the Million Doge Disco. Okay, and what is that? Do you know what Pokemon Go is? I do. Do you know what Tamagotchi is? I do. Do you know what NFTs are? I do. Imagine all of that together. <laughs> is it run on Dogecoin? Uh, it is integrated with Dogecoin, but it's actually running on Block V. Block V, interesting stuff, okay. There are honestly Doge floating around us. And Doge floating do you think, around us. Do you think Satoshi Nakamoto's here at the conference right now? No, I do not. Why not? Because he's not. What if it's a he, she, they? They can't be here right now. I mean, I don't, I don't believe he is here right now. Why are you so fervent that it, it is a he? my education and personal beliefs and the stories and the learnings of a crypto wanderer have led me to believe that Satoshi is no longer with us, but he walked on water. Did he rise from the dead? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. One day, perhaps. What if today was the day? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Not today. Not today, Benton. <laughs> well, good stuff. Well, we appreciate you uh, joining Coin Telegraph here at the Bitcoin Miami conference. Do you have any Doge? I do not own Doge. Would you be open to swapping? Some other do you have any crypto? Yes, I do. Okay, that's great. Otherwise, yeah. be weird. Yeah, it would but be weird. I, I suggest that you perhaps switch some crypto into some Doge for the pure reason to give it away. Absolutely not. Just to give it away to somebody else. Absolutely not. Absolutely what? Absolutely not. No? No. Do you ever give away crypto? I do. Why would you not give away a Dogecoin? Because I, I, I'm not a big fan of Dogecoin. Okay, everyone's entitled to their own beliefs. Have you heard of the four agreements? I have. Do you know, can you repeat them for me? Uh, be impeccable with your words. Correct. Uh, always do your best. Uh, yeah, I forget the other two. Don't take anything personally. Correct. And don't make assumptions. Exactly. And when it comes to assumptions, it's also oftentimes based on the words of others. So, Sometimes people cast black magic and talk down or bad about certain things. And it influences your assumptions about certain things. And I say keep an open mind towards the Doge and Doge consciousness because this has been a community that was rooted in giving. And it's fun. And you give a sticker, you give a Doge sticker or a Bitcoin sticker to a child, which one do you think the child's going to take? Bitcoin. Should we go test that hypothesis? So are kids buying Dogecoin? Well, I'm giving the kids Dogecoin and maybe others will give them Dogecoin as well because it's a giving thing. And like, this is one of the things, this is one of the things that needs to come back to the Dogecoin community. That's why we're doing the Million Doge Disco. We are gonna be giving away more than a million Doge in the coming months. Like we are giving it back. It is important to give because in giving you teach and you also, you know, it's not with expectations about what you get back. But I know that as an evangelist for many, many years, that actually showing people how something works is really educational. And, and Doge is a wonderful intro currency. So it's really easy for kids to get started with, uh, you know, with, with, with Doge. I mean, I use Bitcoin forever. I was the biggest user of the change tip platform, if you ever, that was before your time. Yes. Uh, but all of a sudden, I can't give Bitcoin away. Anymore. Why not? Because it costs $10 to make a transaction. Oh. What about Lightning? <laughs> it's hard enough to teach somebody about how a crypto wallet works before you start getting into a layer two solution. 
Fair point. Excellent. So, yeah. Anyways. Good stuff. Thank you, guys. Namaste. It's yeah, man. Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining Coin Telegraph. We appreciate it.